now reaching out to Kevin O'Leary. He's on the road in Ottawa right now, joins us by phone. So, Kevin, thank you for joining us. I want to begin with your reaction. Here we have the Conservative Party of Canada removing some 1,300 names from its membership list, 1,351 to be exact. What's your reaction to that? I applaud it. I think it's very important that the country know, not just Conservatives, but everybody around the world, because they'll be watching eventually this leadership race. And we have to build it on the pillar of integrity. We can't ever have the taint of voter rigging or any type of fraud involved in this. So I think, you know, it's a good thing to shine the light of transparency on it. I'm very happy the party's doing this. But we're not finished our work yet. There are thousands of new names that will be coming into this list by the 28th of this month, the deadline by which memberships can be signed. I want to know with certainty, and I'm sure every other candidate is in the same boat, that every single member to the T, to the last one, is valid. That's the only way we can ensure the integrity of this process. So at this point, you still think there are fraudulent memberships out there? I don't know, but I want to know with certainty that an audit will be done, that we will check and make sure that no one can suggest that whoever takes the mandate as leadership does it under the cloud of a taint of fraud. Now, we did uh, speak earlier today with Maxime Bernier, as you heard right off top. He mentioned you accused his camp of being behind this membership fraud. What's your response to that? That's impossible. We've done this yet. So we don't know. We just know that it's happened and it's been confirmed by the party. Who has actually done this nefarious activity? Unknown. These are IP addresses that were hidden, apparently. So there's much more work to be done. I have no idea who's done this, but I'm sure he joins me in wanting this to be completely above board and with full integrity that every single vote is validated. So did you or anyone in your camp suggest it might be Maxime Bernier? No, we don't know. That's the whole point. Nobody knows. I've spoken to many of the candidates. Everybody's in the same boat on this. We put politics aside and we make sure that this process is done with integrity. We can't have our party tainted in the concept that the process of picking a new leader is done under the guise of some nefarious activity or fraudulent votes. That's not who the Conservatives are. That's not who Canadians are. We want this cleaned up, all of us together. The party's doing the right thing and it's a process that will have to continue because we don't have the final list till the 20th. What I want to make sure happens, and that's why I shone the light of transparency on this in the beginning. I come from the financial services world where compliance and integrity is how the entire industry works. I don't want my name associated with anything like this, and none of the other candidates do. This has to be completely vetted now, and we are going to be working with the list that gets finalized on May 28th. Every single name has to be valid. And I'm sure the party's in the same boat. Every other candidate I've talked to feels the same way. Let's put politics aside for a moment and do what's right for Canada. Well, I want to pick up again on Maxime Bernier, though, because in that interview today, uh, you, you say just now that you, neither you nor anyone in your camp implied that he was behind this. Uh, that said, he refused to apologize for comments he made regarding that. Take a listen to what Maxime Bernier uh, told us earlier this morning. <laughs> no, no, because, you know, uh, uh, what he was saying, he was saying uh, when he was speaking with the, to the media that it was our team that did that. And the parties then, you know, they, they, they don't know which team and it's coming from their website. But I know I can assure you that it's not our people. What's your reaction to that? I have no idea what he's talking about. I haven't talked to the media about who's done this because I have no idea who has. Bottom line is I'm sure Maxime is in the same boat all the other candidates are. We want a completely transparent process. That is the, to the benefit of everybody. The worst scenario here is to have one individual, anybody out there thinking that when this party picks a new leader, that it is done under the cloud of a taint. A fraudulent taint. We don't want that. None of us want that. Nobody in Canada wants that. And I'm sure Maxime is in the same boat. I mean, look, I've already told all the candidates, when I go to Ottawa, I do not have a majority or a monopoly on good ideas. I'll bring any good idea they have to Ottawa when I go. Kevin O'Leary, thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.